Hello Stampers, this is Judy Anderson at JudyStamps.com and I have heard from so many of you that have either arthritis or have trouble working with your hands and so I'm covering a quick tip today on using the Stamparatus and getting good stamped images. So we're going to use the Stamparatus and a sneak peek to a new in color fresh freesia and that's a new 2021 to 2023 in color and i'm going to be using the the butterfly brilliance stamp set this is a background stamp and you have told me that you have troubles with larger stamps so we're going to st put this down here where we want it to stamp and i First tip is to put it to the outside of your Stamparatus, the farthest you can from the hinge. Go ahead and mount your stamp onto that. We're going to ink it up and we're going to stamp here on our paper because we want to know where that stamps. So we don't have to get a good image for this, I'm just stamping it up lightly and then my tip is picking up one of these dry erase board erasers this cost me less than two dollars at a big box store and what we're going to do is we're just going to rub that over that and it helps distribute the weight across now like i said i didn't ink this up real good making sure i had good coverage i just want to see where i'm going to place my paper and my paper is cut at four and a half inches and I think we can go to here so it's at four and a half by eight and a half and we are going to go ahead and put a magnet towards the top I'm going to actually put it all the way down so I can put a magnet at each end I'm going to put a magnet at the top and the bottom to hold our paper in place now first thing is we need to stamp our image good. So I am placing a my stamp case underneath my acrylic plate and I'm going to ink this up. And you know with when you have the Stamparatus you can get two, three chances. You can, um, if you want your images darker, you just ink it up again and stamp it. So I'm going to put that down and then I'm going to use this dry erase eraser and just rub it over the top of that okay just putting pressure that way you know normally you're pressing with your hand this way you can just rub okay I also find that pushing on the farthest from the hinge also gives a pressure look at that first time we've got a good image but we want it darker so I'm going to stamp it again ink it up so we're gonna have two layers of ink on this Okay, put it down and just rub it. So the, the pressure is coming from your arm and not just your hand. How awesome is that? And for less than two dollars, there we go. So there are your stamped images. Look how nice and deep in color they are. Put this sideways, look at that. So there is your tip for today. Hope to see you all again soon. You can visit me at my Facebook page at Judy Stamps. Just look me up. I'm always giving tips like this every single week. So until next time, everybody, happy stamping.